Okay, I'm going to be putting together the cap black flat bench for exercising. It's uh, pretty compact, it's supposed to be sturdy, so I went ahead and ordered this one through Amazon. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. We're gonna unbox it now. You certainly take precautions to make sure that it's definitely reinforced. Contents are all taped in. Definitely gotta be extra careful because uh, the uh, vinyl on the uh, bench is right at the top here. Looks like we got some instructions at the very top. All right, I'm gonna see about getting all the stuff out. It's gonna be fairly rudimentary, I imagine. Got uh, the supplies, it looks like uh, various uh, little bolts couple washers, uh, long, um, long bolts, as well as an Allen wrench of some sort. So we'll go ahead and set this one off to the side for just a moment. Everything is zip tied in here, so now I'm gonna have to kind of break that open. Hopefully it's not too tough. Looks like we got a couple little brackets. And this looks like this, would, this goes up underneath the bench itself. Strip that off. Okay, let's go ahead and get the directions out because it would be silly to try to put this together and realize I've done it all wrong. It says, stop, have questions. Don't return this product to the store. Uh, call the customer service line. Uh, hopefully we won't have to use that. Black flat bench owner's manual. Very good, it's got warnings on it. Okay, main parts. They even have exercise guidelines in here. Warm up, exercise form, cooling down and staying motivated. All right, uh, the instructions seem fairly simple. Um, most of it is kind of put together already. So we really don't need to worry about too much. Um, put this one up over here. We'll bring this one on over here. It looks like the you'll want to have the shoes to where the lip is pointed outward. Uh, it appears like we want to put this on first. Uh, these go over top. Okay, not too bad. And since this is a little wider than my table, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and bolt this into place and then bring the other one in. So, let's take a look, see what parts I need. All right, so I need, nice thing is everything's numbered on here, so it makes it rather simple in picking out the parts. So we need the five bolt, as well as the number eight washer. So I'm gonna try my best to cut this open. one in all three spots on here. So I'm just gonna fit these in by hand right now and then I'll screw them in with the Allen wrench. All right, we're gonna go ahead and break out the Allen wrench. Next up, we have to get, looks like supports. And we're gonna use the number six long bolts. And the number nine washers. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those cut out. 
thing we'll want to do is let's flip this over first. Let's attach these on and then we'll put this over on top of the actual bar itself. So let's get the smaller bolts. Number 10s. And also we'll need the, excuse me, the number 10 washers and the number seven bolts. Got that flipped around. Now one thing that's kind of wonky I see right now is they have Phillips head screw, uh, screws or bolts here and they didn't provide the screwdriver. So I'm gonna probably have to pause here for just a second and um, see about putting in the uh, Phillips head here. Probably want to get it to where it's lined up. So that way it's easier to get it all bolted on afterwards. I'll leave it slightly loose and then tighten it up as soon as it gets mounted on. Okay, these are nice and snug. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten down the screwdrivers, or the screws. Make sure that we're we'll tighten down the screws and I believe that we are all set. They give us some maintenance suggestions as well as uh, some recommendations with these crudely drawn figures here uh, for actual exercises you can do on this. It's amazing because the actual picture looks nothing like the bench that we have. It's a good thing because that thing looks really archaic. Alrighty, we'll flip it on over and there's our finished product.